Hey folks, um, we'll be covering hyperbola and, and, and its key characteristics in this session. So let's get started. So here's hyperbola. I'm just going to add a couple of um, focus points and P here. Now if you remember from um, ellipsis, um, you would find that the distance between PF1 and PF2 is a constant. But for hyperbolas, um, the distance, you'll be looking at the difference of the distance. So in other words, you'll be looking at, at something like this. So where PF2 take away PF1 is a positive constant. Now you can also do it the other way, where you could do PF1 minus PF2, and you would actually get a negative constant. But, I mean, with hyperbolas, it's looking at the differences rather than uh, the sum of the distances. So having a look at um, another point P, uh, and if I take the distance, again, the constant will still be the same. All right, so let's um, have a look at the formula itself, just moving on. So the general equation of um, an hyperbola is actually x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared which equals 1. Now if you remember for a ellipse it's actually x squared over a squared plus so the only difference this time is the minus itself. Now unlike the um, ellipse with the hyperbola you don't actually have major axes. The two black lines they're actually um, two asymptotes And the two asymptotes have an equation of y equals plus or minus b over ax. I'll go into a little bit more detail about this in the next slide. So, moving on. Okay, so let's start um, breaking down some of these um, characteristics of a hyperbola. First off, we're going to look at um, what a does. a is actually the um, x-intercept of the hyperbola. And as you can see... So there's positive a, and there will be negative a. And the next part is having a look at the asymptotes themselves. Now the asymptotes are going to have the formula of b over a. So there's the first one, which is b over a. And then it's going to be, you're also going to have the negative b over a, which comes on the other side. Next up, we're going to have a look at the points c0 and negative c0. These are the two foci points of um, the hyperbola, and they fall just next to A. Now, if you're wondering the, about the relationship of um, C, uh, I'm just going to write it down now. B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. So that is how you find the foci. Now, there's one more thing. Um, while there's no major or minor axis, there is a thing called transverse axis. Now this is actually the distance from A to negative A. And the length of this is 2A. And you can see that in the in the orange color right there. So that's the orange colored line is the transverse axis. Okay, on to the next slide. Now just like the ellipse um, with the hyperbola, you could also get it in a in another format, where the x is actually negative and the y is positive. Now, if it if this is the case, then what happens is your graph is actually going to be looking upside down, almost like this. But the two asymptotes, they are still going to be the same. They're still going to be b over a. All right, this is a special case when. Um, y is actually positive and when x is actually equal to negative. And finally I'll be looking into the eccentricity and that I'll be doing that on the next slide. So with ex eccentricity just like the ellipse the formula is going to be E is C divided by A. The one thing you need to know is that minimum value for E will always be 1 and as e increases from 1 what happens what happens is the asymptotes 
they actually become a lot more steeper. So if your E is greater than 1, then your hyperbola is, I don't know how you say it, if I can just show you a quick sketch of it. So if your um, E is really, well, let's say E is, I don't know, 5 or something like that, then your hyperbola is almost, because the asymptotes are quite steep, the hyperbola is more, I don't know, I don't know how you call it, more kind of stretched out. So, yeah, that's that's a generic idea of it. All right, hopefully you got a few ideas, um, well, the few characteristics of hyperbola here. All right, thanks for watching.